Hi everybody, it's Laquita. I thought I would come on and um, take a few minutes and share with you a little project that I finished. Um, this one has taken me a little while too. It seems like most of the projects that I do um, turn into lengthy projects. And this one has been going on for several months. I will work on it for a little while and then put it aside and you know, just kind of back and forth with it. Um, but it is a time or it was a time consuming project, but fun. Um, I enjoyed it. I hated to see it come to an end, but uh, let me share it with you. Um, I saw this, it's called a pedal bag. I saw it on Pinterest and I just thought it would be a fun little project to do. So I started searching for um, a pattern and actually found um, this book on eBay. It's a used book, but it's in very good condition. And so, um, and it wasn't that expensive either. So, um, once I got it, I just sat down and read the instructions first and then uh, went to work on it. So, I, at first I, um, I had it covered with these plastic sleeves and then I had it bound on the side, spiral bound on the side. I just took it to my local um, office supply store and they did it for me and sorry for that glare. And um, it's just easier to work with. I don't remember, I was watching somebody else's channel and they had suggested that you do this to your books and it was a very good idea. And um, so I just ran out. I actually did it to several of my books that I go to often. And, um, but anyway, um, so that's the book. I would say the book is, it's pretty well written. This is the only project that I've done out of it so far. Uh, there are some others in here that I, I, I want to try, but, um, I will say this for, if you are a beginner seamstress, um, there are some things in here that they assume that you would know how to do and um, that you would know it would be the next step because I was thinking while I was working on it about how some things are skipped and I'm thinking, I know this has got to be the next step, but it's not in the book. It doesn't tell you to do this. And so it's just an assumption that's made and um, so I was thinking, you know, for a beginner seamstress might get a little bit frustrated because there are going to be some steps that they assume that you will know to do. So uh, if you're a beginner, um, I wouldn't say don't do it. I'm just going to say, you know, be very patient with it. Um, but the things that are that you definitely need instruction for, it's very well written for those things that... Um, for all of the little detailed work and all that, it it's, does have good instructions for that. So um, I would say it's it's a, a decent book to own. So um, anyway, once I got um, all my fabrics and all of my supplies together, I set out and went to work. It took, like I said, several weeks, months, whatever, but I finally got it all done. And um, it's called a pedal bag. I'm gonna move that, it's got such a glare on it. Um, and so these are called uh, petals. And um, I ha it has a very nice flat bottom on it. And, um, but each of the petals has uh, a different flower embroidered on it. And I pretty much just followed the colors that were used in the, uh, in the book. And then once you have it all put together and got your drawstrings in, you just pull your little stopper bead out and the petals will all come down like, just like so. And then as you can see, there's pockets uh, on the inside of each petal. And um, this one over here has a little embroidered butterfly. It's a pinwheel, so there's little pins that are in there. And in this pocket, I believe I have uh, a thimble in there. This one has uh, an embroidered bumblebee and it's on a needle book. I have a few needles in there. And then this one has um, a thread wrap. And then this one has a, a needle keeper or holder. And the thimble, 
the needle keeper and the thread wrap are all a part of a set that I bought and there's also scissors inside. So if you just undo your drawstring for your bag and the bag is a very nice size bag and just undo it like that. And I don't have much in here, just my scissors. I made a little scissor keep. I um, followed a pattern on uh, YouTube. This scissor keep is not in the book, but there is one in the book. It's just different. I didn't want to use it. It was quite a bit bigger than this one. Um, so anyway, I just followed um, a pattern that I saw on YouTube. So um, just made a little sleeve there to hold the scissors. And I also include a little pocket on the back for my little um, owl that is in the set that goes with the set. And so that's all I have inside other than this um, gold applique flower that I put in the bottom of the bag and I put my name underneath. So that is it. That's my bag all completed. And, and um, as I said, it was a fun project. I, I did enjoy doing it. And, and um, just draw your string up and there it is. Because I don't have very much in this bag, my um, in the petal bag itself, the bag in the center kind of falls. If I had more things to put in it, it would have, um, you know, it would have um, a reason to stand. Right now it doesn't have a reason to stand because there's not much in there. So it should stand at the top, kind of like that, like it does there on the uh, picture. But um, anyway, that's my bag. That's my, my latest project. Hope you enjoyed seeing it. And um, I'll be back again in a few weeks or a few months, however long it takes me to finish my next project. So um, thank you again for watching. And I hope you all are staying safe out there. Take care. Bye.